this video and the content thereof may not be very palatable to some of you that just tuned in. If you have a problem with any of the future information that I will be presenting on this particular video right now, just simply shut it off. You don't have to call me names. You don't have to like what I'm saying. You don't have to enjoy it. You don't have to like my person. You have a right to your opinions, your feelings, your viewpoints. So do I. The real point is, what do you base yours on? I base mine on observation, common sense, research, critical thinking, and intelligence, and history. So, if you don't fall within those parameters, maybe you shouldn't watch this video. But I'm going to speak straightforward, concise truth. So now, I've been attacked, I've been questioned over the years, at least after Obama was elected into office both terms why I no longer vote why I don't vote I'm going to say it again but let me preface that answer by saying this I'm a military veteran of the United States Army I did my time honorably discharged I have a great record for the time that I served I am an entrepreneur I'm an American I'm a proud American I am patriotic but we have to draw a very fine line when we say we're patriotic and we have a country or a country's leader that is not patriotic you see America stands for something it stands for freedom above all things not for a segment of our society but for every one irrespective of your race, color, creed, ethnicity. America is supposed to represent all of its people, not just part of the population or a percentage. But it has not done that since its inception. We had slavery that was ordered by, carried out by our own government. It was accepted as business. That is a very dark historical past that is still not over. We are still in a form of slavery but now all Americans have been included. We are still in a governmental slavery. Whether you believe it or not it is a fact. If you take the blinders off and if you do some very diligent research, you will find, and it's not too hard to miss, you will find that it's in plain sight and has been all along. Either you were afraid to accept it and to look at it, or you just simply didn't know it existed. We are in a matrix. We are in what appears to be reality, but there is a second and alternative reality behind the scenes. Stay tuned for part two.